Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you a Hilo Aguero player review. Now, this guy obviously got this for his ridiculous display against Newcastle United, scoring 5 in about 20 minutes, and it just looks incredible. The stats, 90 pace, 90 dribbling, 91 shooting, 4-star skill moves, and 4-star weak foot. And as you can see, I bought him for just under 1.8 million. This is Xbox One price. I'm not sure how much he goes for on different consoles, and he might be a lot cheaper by the time you're watching this. I will upload it on Thursday. I'm recording it on the Wednesday. Now, as you can see, I've played 5 games, and I've scored 17 goals. I assure you, and you're going to see every single one of those 17 goals in the highlights, they were all online. This card is crazy but anyway we're going to get into the in-game stats as expected there's just a lot of dark green you've got 94 attack and positioning you've got 93 acceleration 91 balance and then we move on to skill attributes a lot of dark green again 90 dribbling as well as ball control 88 shot power 88 volleys and then we move on to the specialities, dribbler, acrobat, clinical finisher, and he's got the traits injury prone, which is bad, and flair. Apart from injury prone though, this guy is incredible, and I will tell you why right now. So, what I find incredible about this card is the first time I used it in this team, I lost 4-3, Aguero only scored 1, and then I played the second game and I was 3-0 down. And I thought, you know what, this is just really shit. I don't like the way he plays. I don't like this team. I'm going to, you know, not do the review. But then I managed to win that game 5-3. And all of a sudden, the goals flooded in. And Aguero scored all five in that game. It is incredible the, the goals to game ratio I've managed to get with him. I played another game, which you won't see on this, and I got four more goals. So I played six games and scored 21 goals. This guy is a goal machine. He literally can score anything, all right? He's only five foot eight, right? That's obviously not that small, but in terms of heading in the box, you would think it would be, all right? But he's fantastic at that, all right? I've scored two headers, I think, and I scored a couple of volleys, and crosses are usually really difficult in FIFA 16. And yet, yeah, this guy just latches on at them. He knows when to run into the box, when to time his run. Obviously, that ridiculous pace goes without saying, coupled with 90 dribbling. I mean, 90 pace, 90 dribbling, you can't go wrong. It is exceptional, all right? He's got brilliant agility. His, uh, you know, his center of gravity, his balance seems to be really 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 on point his positioning all right he's always always on the last man available for that pass unless of course you're dribbling through then you know <laughs> you've got two choices you can either dribble through or just let him find the space uh, he can himself like what I was doing sometimes is cutting down with Quadrado cutting inside and the defenders would just leave a gaping hole and Aguero would find that space and he'd just be able to tap it in and he's absolutely incredible he's lethal in the box if you're in the box shoot effectively it doesn't matter what you do finesse shots aren't really that good on FIFA 16 so sometimes they're a bit hit and miss even with this uh, <laughs> incredible player but uh, if you power it then it's going to test the keeper at the very least as I said before, an aerial threat, which you wouldn't really expect for someone who's five foot eight. That is crazy to have the the heading ability he does, and even just the power in the air he he seems to have. He's really really strong, and you can tell that while he's dribbling as well. He feels really really strong, hard to push off the ball, which is always nice. He's obviously got flair, which is brilliant because it allows him to perform the skill moves a lot better, a lot more fluid. It just feels better, and also the four star skills is incredible. I love having players with four star skills that have high dribbling and high pace it just feels a lot more fluid as i said before and he's also incredibly two-footed doesn't matter if you're on your left on your right those that four star weak foot really really does help and he's just incredible all right right foot left foot head whatever he's just incredible all right he literally is i know people bang on about insane players and everything and i do it myself a lot but i've never had a player that just scores the level of goals that this guy does. I, he's just always available, always in space. And this is the last goal right now. It's also my favorite that I did score with him. This is when he got a double hat trick in one game. I scored six, he scored all six. It's just ridiculous, all right? And I just love that. I did a couple of skills. Just dribbled through. It was in the 90th minute. And as you can see there, all six goals were Aguero. 
So this guy hands down gets a 10 out of 10. The only two weaknesses I could find were the price and sometimes he is a bit injury prone, all right? Like at the end of the match, you'll probably have to put a healing card on him now and again. But to be honest, if you're paying this kind of money, you're obviously gonna have a lot of coins anyway. So I'm not, I don't think you're gonna be bothered about, you know, paying 400 or 1000 coins for a healing card. Obviously only about 1% of people can afford this card. But if you ever can, I recommend you try it out. I think he'll drop to about a million, which of course is still absolutely astronomical. But if you can afford it, try it out. Or if he gets another in form, oh my god, if this guy gets a team of the season, I don't know how he can beat this card. But anyway, this review's dragging on now. Let me know who you want me to review next. And yeah, peace.